1500 but here's the thing whenever I do go home my check is fucked yeah, I'll tell you that part like when you come back on the road you know you get paid the miles what you get but here's the thing about that is they don't fucking try to give you goddamn miles before you go home so you can have a goddamn paycheck. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Truck driver says that this company isn't working out for him anymore. In this clip right here, company driver for Variant feels that Variant isn't the place for him anymore. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Working out. Uh, honestly, I don't think this. Yeah, I don't think this account's working out. Uh, honestly, I don't think this company's working out anymore. It's not varying anymore. It's it's just you express. I don't give a shit what anybody says. It, it, that's all it is. This account I was supposed to be grossing up fifteen hundred, give or take. Yeah. Um, I would have to be on the road all rest of my career to get that fifteen hundred dollars because you know whenever i do go home you know i basically even if i like do a 34 on the load whatever you know i still only get that fifteen hundred but here's the thing whenever i do go home my check is fucked they yeah, i'll tell you that part like when you come back on the road you know you get paid the miles what you get but here's the thing about that is they don't fucking try to give you goddamn miles before you go home so you can have a goddamn paycheck. Because they keep on saying, well, you're guaranteed pay. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm about to go home in a couple of days. 300 miles in the three-day delivery schedule is it fucking happening. Every time I fucking call y'all, y'all not really giving me any fucking answers. Y'all always saying, oh, I'm going to ask fucking CSR and fucking whatever planners. To see, and y'all never fucking give me anything. Because for some odd reason, y'all think fucking 300 or 1,000 miles takes you like fucking a week to get there. So I'm going somewhere else because I can't fucking take this bullshit anymore. And they say, well, if you do a regular OTR, you, don't, you won't get the miles. I'm not getting miles either way it goes. Crazy, right? Now, I mean, I, 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 I talked to a whole lot of drivers about their companies. Some of them says it's good. Some of them says it's bad. You know, they like to expose their company for what they are. Now, I just got finished talking to a driver about Variant. He just left. Make sure you guys peep out that conversation. And from what he said about Variant, Variant ain't even Variant anymore. Like, how these uh, these recruiters will come on here and tell you that Variant is a different type of trucking company, whether you don't even have a dispatcher anymore. Now you got a dispatcher. They don't do the computer thingy functionality anymore. And I guess in this situation right here with this guy, he gets a guarantee, but it just don't work out because it's it's like every time you get a guarantee, it's not it's it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. Like a thousand dollars guarantee versus fifteen hundred dollars that I'm normally get. Math ain't mathing. But listen, listen. If you guys want to come on and 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 talk about y'all experiences, that's what I do. That's what I do. It's not whether you work there for a day. Or if you worked there for years, my platform is here to go in here and have a good conversation about your experience with the company, right? Now, you know, I jumped into his comment session and it's, it's a mixed bag when it came to his comment session. This commenter says, so you're surprised you don't make that much money whenever you go home, which is true. Like if you, if you go home, if you go home and you don't do that many miles before you go home, then that paycheck on home time ain't going to be it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
this comment right here says he must be a new driver. Well, I, I don't know if he's a new driver, but he probably might be a new driver for Variant. This commenter says, best decision I made in trucking was working for a small company with 20 trucks. They treated me so well, and I appreciate that. Facts. Facts. You know, once you get your experience, because I always say, when you come into the industry, the money is not going to, you know, be there right away. But if you get your experience, at least a couple of years, you can... Go to another company that can respect you and treat you a little bit better than what these mega carriers do. And this last comment says, listen, you got to go where it's better. Everyone knows mega carriers don't care about you or how you feel. They're going to put someone else right in that seat. Exactly. You can come on here, cry on TikTok, cry on YouTube, cry on Facebook. But for every time that you decide to leave a company, they got five to 10 people ready to take that seat. Drivers, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. Big G's got it locked.